Hi Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with a tutorial of uh, Imperator Rome because there's been a few people that have been asking for it because a few have been like, I have no clue what I'm doing in this game, Pope. Uh, could you do a tutorial? And um, yes, I'm here to do one, so we'll quickly go through one. Uh, so welcome to the tu tutorial for Rome, uh, for Imperator Rome. By completing the series of objectives you'll find left on the hand screen, you introduce the basic principles of playing behind Imperator Rome. And that's what I'm here to do, basically do the basic stuff. Get So you're able to get to a good start and build a fairly good empire. And then the more tricky stuff hopefully you can either learn on your own or I may do a further tutorial. We'll see. You'll be able to complete objectives in order to choose. However, is your new paradox high as you wish professional knowledge, we recommend that you follow the objective list from the button, top button. Da, 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 da. When the conditions are met and the objectives are highlighted, to show you are ready to turn, are ready to turn in. Roman Victor. And then we've been fighting the Simonites for 20 years. Oh dear, we lost. Uh, we won, but and took a city. The Simonites, however, take having trees there, having retreated, lick their wounds, are far from defeated in the north. The Etruscan people are the expansion of the Republic. With their apprehension to the south. Yada yada yada. Carthaginians threaten us in Sicily. We must win, basically. Or, or die. Um, current date, which your top right corner of your screen. Uh, has recently established local dominance stage set for you to expansion through the Italian region. The purpose of this tutorial, we're taking care of a few matters for you. We will have her teach you how to cover these areas over the course of history. Proceed. Um, okay, resources onwards, okay. Anyway, so, I have played as Rome uh, in my own private game, so I sort of know what's going on. Well, how much money we make? Oh, God, we have a lot of money to start with. The game gives us a lot of money, doesn't it? So anyway, trade routes. We will go for surplus. What do we have a surplus in? We have plus one grain. Get some salt in because salt helps with army maintenance cost and stuff like that. So we'll get that from from Carthage in Sardinia. Excellent. That was just definite, wasn't it? Disloyal characters. Um, how you're not very corrupt at all. So I'm going to just corrupt you a little bit, bribe you up, get your loyalty up there. Um. I'm going to go with the usual thing I go for, property tax. Um, and to get to this, you just have all these pop-ups here. You'll have all these pop-ups here. I'm sorry, I'm like going through like it's a normal game. You'll have all these pop-ups here. And you just, certainly for invention, you just select whatever you want. It's like any game of, um, any Paradox game basically. You um, just choose what you want to do. If you want to build tall and get a huge economy, or you want to get a really good army going, or just want to be really good in... Legislation or diplomacy, I guess that would be. Yeah, diplomacy. Um, then you choose that. So I've chosen tax so I can build better troops because, well, not better troops, build a bit bigger army. Because currently it's looking it's looking weak. It's not even a not even one gold coin. And then I'm gonna um, do the omen power, like I have in my Mastodon campaign, which you go should go and check out, guys, if you haven't, because I um, sort of do tutorial there, but sort of not. I'm sort of learning stuff if it goes on and I still am really. I'm like doing this tutorial but um, I still have a bit of a cl no clue with some stuff. And then we'll just do and then as you see there a thing comes up and omens and like I said omens you can choose whether to uh, what you want to do and I went for national tax. There are other ones. I should have possibly gone through them quicker but again it's like whatever you focus on you uh, do that. So national tax and that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll sacrifice to the gods because we have the um, religious power at the top here and that is what it costs you so it's going to cost me a lot to um, get my last bit of stability um, but we'll do that for now and then we're going to we have another invention Gee, oh we have a lot of inventions it is very easy early on isn't it for, if you play tutorial I'll go with um, standardised measures because that helps again with national commerce and income or that profession um, starting experience so my soldiers are now experienced when they join and I'll do one more I will do um, I 
I want to do one of these three, really, I think. But I'm not quite sure which one. Maybe technology speed. Improve technology speed. Um, and we'll do... We'll start. Quickly. And then we'll look at the objectives. Uh, call down an omen. Have an army 30. So we need trimiums. Uh, tri triremes and... More armies being built. So we'll build a couple of triremes. Can we do one here? Yes, we can. Oh no, we don't have it because there's no port. Okay, so we can only build on a port. I've learned something there. I thought you could just build on any sea um, region. So we'll just build a couple of triremes. That'll do. Um, I'll wait till 200, or like we're nearing 200. Give it a little bit more. Actually, we could do one now. Um, I'll go for diplomatic re reputation. Get me more well known in the area. More well known. And then. I'm not really. I'm gonna, I'll expand a little bit. Because I will. I think a. Um, convert. I will get. Convert. Fabricate claim. On. I will fabricate claim on Piscenium. So to do that, you just go. You click on their region. You may have seen there. I click on the region. Open diplomacy. Neapolis prospers. I will just do that to get that. And then you click on convert actions, like in um, EU4 if you played that. Click fabricate claim, and you'll see the cost that it's going to have there. And um, and then you click on the region. And I could do it again, but I, I there's no need because I already have. No need wasting it because I can just use that other. Um, claim to take the whole region. So, if we look at it, they are allied with no one. We could go to war. Oh, I've gained reckless. And you just get, yeah, you get loads of pop ups like that, and you get loads of, um, sort of, loads of traits. So, I've got reckless. That helps with martial. But aggressive expansion impact is bad. That's wise is good for that war. Uh, you get a lot of bonuses there. You can see, um, Lots of victorious, again, lots of uh, bonuses. And then jealous, charisma, minus one. But smear reputation cost, minus 25%. So there's pros and cons for both. Scorned families, um, I'm really not quite sure how much of a problem this is currently, but um, I, I've not really had a problem with it. So I may like do a follow up episode, um, episode, like tutorial. Um, going over the scorn families bit and this bit, but really I wouldn't be too worried about this early on. I think you're okay. It says here, family scorned unless the total income of its members receives from jobs and offices is at least two percent of our national income. Um, so yeah, and I think just because there's a vast amount of families for Rome, you just cannot give them all offices. And to look at offices, we look here at government. And these are all the offices that you can have. So we've got, and then we've got all the factions down here. Depends who you play as. Obviously, if you're a kingdom, you've got less of these. I don't think any of these. And you haven't got any factions in a senate, because you don't have a senate. So, so yes. We will, build, how much money are we making now? Three. Let's go and build some units. And you go to, I go to Macro Builder, because it's quick. And you just click on um, Recruit Cohort, second one down. And I usually go with Prinkapes, since they are a very good unit. So I'll build one, two, three Prinkapes, and I will build two Sagratari. I have already got a general um, in this legion, which is very good. Usually asks me to put a general in there, but not this time. So we'll do that. Um, build to 20,000, ready for a war against the Sabanai. Sabanaya? I have no idea. I, you, that's a pretty simple name, Sabanea. I'm going with, but, but I'm still butchered that. Um, anyway, we've nearly got to 200 again. I mean, we're not really, but I'll do it anyway. We will build, like, we're like over halfway. <laughs> I'll tell myself that. Um, I will go with prof military ar artisans. I think. So I'm probably going to get most of the tech because of this, because it's on really easy mode I think for tutorial and Rome just in itself is easy so I've got now got a military tradition as well 
I'm going to go with heavy infantry discipline. That will, um, that's in the military thing, uh, military tab here. So you can just go military traditions, but you usually pop up here as well. And this is where you need to look. This is where if things are going wrong or th things need doing, that's where you do. Like in any old, any old paradox game. And then merge armies together. You just hover over and just click that emblem that was up there. And I can create new units. I can recruit to army. Split in half. So recruit to army. Recruit some units straight off the bat. And that they follow the army around. And then I might... I've now just learned that. I've just seen that. I may do that from now on. Um, you've also got shock action. And you've got different way, things that like help with different ones. I am going to stay, stay with shock action. Because that will really help my army. Bottleneck would also help my army. And it is really good against shock action and hit and run. But it's not so good against skirmishing and cavalry skirmish. I'm going to stick with this one because I think it's the best for me. I think I clicked of something there that might have gone. But anyway, we will go with... Um, we'll accept this support because then we get more support in, this, in the factions. And um, we'll go back to government. We now have more support down here. From the, we have a lot of support from the military, lots more from the civic now because of that pop up. We're fairly supported by everyone else. Anyway, we are now going to go to war, so we will open diplomacy and declare war, and just just like that, very simple. Then we just, as you do, uh, move your units around. Nothing new there. Our navy is now at six. Um, invention. We've got another invention that we could do. I may hold off just a little bit on that one and wait until we see what happens in this war and whether to do it. So we're going into battle here. You can see that little green uh, emblem there shows that we were going to win it definitely. Um, yet yeah, we lost very few men. And that uh, in this little bit of gold here with the Roman numerals on shows the skill of your general. So you want to keep an eye on that. That does usually sometimes help the outcome of the battle and if you're going to win. Often... Um, I don't know actually, I, I was about to say it often if you have the larger army you will win but I have seen battles where I've had the larger army and not won. So it's, I think it does depend on your skill of your general, how good your troops are with like military technology and the size of your army obviously. And the, um, and the uh, action you go for, if you go for the right action against the right people then that helps. That helps. Anyway, we're going to win this war very, very quickly. We're already on 31%, you can see down here, in the co same corner that it's always in. For any Paradox game, your war score. And you can see all the highs and lows and stuff like that. And it takes a long time. It's not like in EU4 where you can basically, after, if you knock out someone really, really quickly, they will go, yep, yeah, that's it. I, I super piece like separate pieces. It takes a long time to do a separate piece. I think it's like 30, it needs to be 36 months into a war before you can do separate pieces with different people. So that's obviously going to be great if we're fighting like Carthage and Macedon at the same time because it will take 36 months to beat one of them probably. Unlike um, fighting the Sabinaya down here, it's going to take a lot less than that. Um, as you can see here, we have Tyranny at the top. This is... Um, represents the level of oppression within the government, uh, within the country, and there are various actions that can increase this. And I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to increase it or I'm supposed to decrease it. I'm gonna keep. I like to keep it low, from when I play my own Rome game. I like to keep it low because tyranny seems to be a bad thing. Unless you want to make an empire, I assume if you want to make an empire, you could do it. But since I'm uh, still a bit, I'm still say I'm fairly new to the game. Um, I'm keeping it low, and obviously Rome's got to be a republic to start. We've got to build big enough as a republic, and we've had a son be named Status Saponius Sophus. But that's also the difference with a republic. Your main character will change. Like I'm not won't won't have him for much longer. We will have this guy, look Quintus Fabius Rulinius. I might have actually got that name right. I'm pretty impressed. Um, will eventually looks like he is going to be the next candidate for consul. And they are bringing in a patch to make Consul and Co-Consul. Anyway, um, very, very soon, yeah. It's patch 1.1. I think they're going to do it very, very soon. But anyway, we've won the war at 100%. We will annex both of these regions. And we could take money, but we've got so much. Money's not really a problem. So we're now a regional power, and I'll come to that. But we've got the Sabinine Elite. So you can basically do what you want in this... Uh, 
after the war so I could kill them all and get a lot of popularity. Bring down my aggressive ex expansion. Or I can pass judgment to the important families and they'll deal with it. Um, but I will say no quarter is given. So now I can... We have, because of this, we can threaten war, have alliances, um, and we can do a lot of other things, as you can see here. Import routes, we've got another import route, we've got diplomatic relations, up to three, uh, diplomatic range plus 50%, and government bonus multiplier, 100%. So yeah, we are now very, very good. So what we've done that, we will keep this legion here. I will probably start what was... Oh, we're not actually making a lot, so I will keep it a one, uh, one, the one army for now. I'm going to next be looking to take out this lot, I think. Actually, I might go for these lot next, Pacintium. Because you are also, you are in alliance with the Umbri, which are there. They don't which I was already going to take out anyway, so really doesn't matter. I also like how Rome has this like random bit here. It's just like, yep, we just have that. And I could also do a claim to take that from them. But anyway, we are going to do some more trade routes. And this time I'm going to go for... I could go for cloth or for wood. I think I'm going to go for... Um, oh. I'll take the support, thank you. Um, surplus in each province, I will go, could go with wood. I think I will, because it helps with trireme, discipline, and other things. So, I will get it from my own region. And we've got an invention we can do. I will do... Um, I will do fabrication cost. So, it costs even now less to do it. I've got 100 again, I will wait a little bit longer before doing it. How much money are we making? Two. Two a turn. Um, I will, since we have money is not an object right now, I will build some marketplaces, which helps with local tax. And, um, yeah, just, we could build them everywhere if we wanted to. So we will. We'll build quite a lot of mar marketplaces that will help with our tax and then let's look at the tutorial objectives we still haven't we need to import fish from latium okay so i should have looked at that i may have to change one of my trade routes uh construct eight training gr grounds okay one two three four five six seven eight eight thank you so we don't we'll do that in a bit um Finish off the Salmonites. Oh, we should be doing that next. I could do that next then. Alliance, they have an alliance with Lucania. Hmm. And, okay, we will fabricate a claim on I'll fabricate a claim on Campania, because I don't know. I don't think it really matters which one I go for. Interesting. You gained Sensor. Oh no, gains. I have no idea. Don't know quite what you've gained. Um, but anyway. Destroy Etruria, conquer Southern Italy. I actually have a lot that I have to do in this tutorial. So this could take a little while, but to do all the objectives, I, w I won't do all of them because that's a lot of wars. And you know, and I will do another war. I will fight the Samanites. But um, there is a lot of um, wars that you can do obviously is Rome very very quickly and they're all the same basically after a while I can um, start to integri integrate uh, integrate there we go I, I don't know what's happened I woke up today and I clearly just cannot speak properly I can integrate all of these nations the same basically influence actions and that all I have to do is get to 190 uh, opinion same as in the EU4 and I can integrate them into my nation we've got another invention and um, we could do. I've had it a little while, but just waiting for... I mean, I've not really got anything. I'll do army morale because that one can always help, but I don't really need it. Um, everything's been built, so we should have... Yep. Oh, the 
That folded. Something folded there. Anyway, we are going to declare war on Campania. Confirm. We will declare war on Campania. Bring them into the war. Lucania should join as well. I think Lucania has a fairly large army. Um, so the Samonites don't. Never have and never will. Hopefully my puppets might join. They might not. They might be just too bothered. Too... Um, too... Too bored. Oh, I could offer, guarantee some people, but... I, I'm not really that bothered about guaranteeing. Rome is the superpower in this region, and I will just take it all for myself. Look like my allies have done their job there nicely, so we will... Just, like, take this very, very nicely. It doesn't look, even look like Lucania is going to join the war. So, um, yeah, we'll just quickly look at the rest of the world while it's going on. I mean... Um, for freedom. Yeah, go on. You can have it. Be a free man. Slavery's bad. Boeotia's well, been occupied by Thrace. And Macedon's taking lots of regions here. Oh, Lucania's finally arrived. I just saw that. When I should have been looking out... Should have been looking... <laughs> the right thing. Um, where are you going? You're going there, so I will batter you into the ground. And yeah, this is this is very much it. I've kind of gone through everything that's like gets done. Scorn, just go away, scorn families. I don't care about you. We've imprisoned someone. As you can see here, you can quick look at everything if you wanted to. And we've imprisoned this guy. I could release him. I get he gets loyalty, but I don't really get like the whole prison thing. It's not like it's major. I guess if you go against Macedon and you take capture their king, that's quite big. But like, I'm fighting the Samonites here. Pretty sure they have a, oh, like a similar style sort of thing to me. They are just a. Um, I'm not quite sure actually. Okay, thank you. We we won another battle. Bellicose stance. Yeah, maybe. Oh, aristocratic republic. That's a settled tribe. So maybe it is different. Maybe a different, different government. Who knows? We are going to win it. I might let my allies quickly wrap up here. And I will go on and take out Lucania. I don't know whether... I might not be able to take out the Samonites in one go. I hope I can. Let's go in there. How much are we making now? Three. I could build more armies. Uh, my manpower isn't great. Um, well, it's okay. It's 43,000. It's pretty damn good. But uh, it takes a long time to um, rebuild your population. Um, it takes like 15 years, I think. 15 years. Um, it's 10 years to get full population with EU4. It's 15 in this game. So it's, it is... A, you have to be patient. So I'm going to build some more... I'll build some training camps over here. Just because this helps boost, boost local manpower, and that's always great. Fortresses, I've got one, two, three. Three seems to be an ample amount um, at the moment, so I will go with that. For now, we will live with that. Um, while we're quick, while it's doing that, we'll quickly look at other things. Nation overview, um, you can do like governor policy. You can look at your governors, and stuff like that. See how loyal they are to you. Very loyal, very loyal. Um, nice, Julius. Julii family. Join our court. An inspiring man for our soldiers to look up to. Don't really need you. I might just do that. Um, yeah, they're all fairly loyal. Oh, he's very, very loyal. A daughter has been born. Excellent. Um... He's the governor for all of these regions, is this one character. Very nice. I mean, I don't know actually if that's a really good idea, because then he's really, really powerful. Anyway, we've got another invention uh, that we could do. We will do improve opinion maximum. Not that I'm really bothered about anyone's opinion right now, because I can just crush them like they are a bug. And we have nearly won these two sieges here, and then we can go after the rest of... Uh, Lucania, really. Medium low. Can I can I force 
Lucania out the war yet? I imagine not. Yeah, it's not till 57, so it's a long time. It's another two years. I I imagine I'll just do a, a piece where it just means election soon. I will come back to that. Sorry. Um, and the following ports are being blockaded. Neapolis. By two, I can send out my navy. I, I shall. Um, so an election soon. And it looks like the candidate that's going to be elected. He's a citizen. Yep, yeah, there we go. Just like that. Um... And he's he's fairly good. Um, I will give sense to the guy that was um, consul, and then Omen. We will go see. Looking at the other ones here, if you wanted to look, I am still going to go with the same one. National tax. Just I don't see any other need to go for anything else. Maybe manpower. Maybe, but maybe not. Um, we'll wait a little bit on that. But we are winning very, very nicely. I imagine... What could I get in the peace treaty? I could get that. I could get that. I could get that. I could get that. And I could get that. And they'd be happy. I think the diplomacy is a bit broken. But that's just my opinion. Like, I could get so much and they say yes. And it's only 56% of the war score. Like, in other um, tiles, that would take, still take a long time. I'm going to put this here. See if this changes. Because I've... Never know if it's blockading ports really helps. No. Blockading... I think they should possibly bring that back. Because blockading ports is very... I thought it was a nice little thing that helps boost um, your siege ability. Especially when you have no siege equipment early on. But yeah, technology... We'll quickly go through these. Nation overview. Government. Military. We've already seen. Um, technology seen a lot. <laughs> Religion. Um, yeah, I've shown you again. Could sacrifice to the gods again. I mean, there's nothing else to use religious power on, so... And that does... Oh, that brings down war exhaustion. Does invoke devotio. That costs military power. So we killed another pig. And we're now even more stable. National unrest is very high, to be fair. But it doesn't seem too bad. I've not had any rebellions in any of my games on the uh, channel or on... Uh, just as on my own. N not had any so far, so I will uh, be interested to see what happens when it does. Economy. Um, look at this if you want to see what the, every, all the money's going. Um, so currently we're at default, I think. An increased pay, so that so you can obviously get higher morale. And then if you decrease their pay, their morale is a lot lower, but the maintenance cost is a lot lower. So if you're not at war, I guess you could do that. Um, and then you could obviously increase their pay. If you wanted to see we've won the siege there I'm gonna I'm gonna end the war because it seems like that would be a wise move and then we'll go for I'll do this one because this one seems like it's got a lot more bonuses that one's got a red national freedom and happiness still on that so we'll do that and then we will just say okay for that so I will aggressive expansion we will bring it down I think and then we are going to send the army back to Rome. So we'll do that. And so, yeah, you can see we've expanded even more into the south now. Excellent. Um, ports. We'll just put you in at Neapolis. So, yeah, we've expanded. They, I could have probably dealt with Lucania, but I've let them live a little bit longer. And may have been a mistake, may not have been. We'll see. Uh, professional sailors, please. Um... I'm not really that bothered about completing all the objectives because a lot of them are just destroying people that um, I don't really need to do. You already sort of know what the ideas are of this um, of the game now. I will let it play a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, and then there's all these armies here. You can hire these and these are mercenaries. And if you don't pay them, they rebel and join the enemy or they can um, demand territory. Just the same sort of things that happen in... The other Paradox games. It's very, very similar. Characters. This is all your families scorned and not scorned. Um, see, look, loads of just far too many families for Rome to like, for you to get them all to be happy, I think. Trade overview. See what I'm exporting and importing. Um, which is great. And decisions. Um, I can do some of these decisions if I wanted to expand the campus, Martius. Um, 
Why can I not do that then? Martial advances is greater than three. Okay, so I can't do any of these unless... And why can't I do that? Has greater or equal that? Console has popularity greater than 90%. Oh, so I need to have a lot of tyranny to actually become a dictator. Ah. So there you go. So these are a lot of decisions I can do. And embellish that. So I need to have... Ah, so it's, it's quite a while, I think, before you can do decisions become useful. But Rome is already expanding. It's becoming a well-known world power. No one else really is doing much. Carthage, my other rival not doing a lot. Um, I mean, I don't really know how every nation starts off. I've not really paid too much attention to much else than that. Macedon's expanded a bit. It's got a weird, like... It's looking after this random nation here. They're doomed. But, um... Yeah, it seems to be going fairly well. For a year, looking big as ever. The Seleucids and stuff are doing alright. So, but yeah, we're, we've done okay. Hopefully that helps. Um, hopefully that has helped that tutorial there. I'm not going to make it too long, otherwise people, people will lose interest. Um, but yeah, if you have got any questions about um, Imperator Rome and how to play it, then just drop them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Um, if you do enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. For more content, I will uh, be putting up plenty more Imperator Rome um, for my Macedon campaign. And there may be another campaign coming shortly, um, and we'll alternate between those daily, um, depending on how much you enjoy uh, Imperator Rome. So please like and subscribe and hit the bell for more content from my channel. And if you, uh, well, yeah, and until, don't know what I was going to go and say there. I'm just, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> Until next time, guys, bye for now.